end of day market overview guys we're back on the action this opening up the week we got a lot of to talk about uh made a few interesting changes to our forex portfolio we're gonna also talk about the cryptocurrency let's ro go right ahead and dive in the first one by the way this one was published today in the members area on the, in the forex section euro aussie uh very interesting go ahead check that out if you haven't already uh, all the details about this one but uh, the drop seems to kick in right we talked about the breakdown below 62.14 leading to a move that will probably uh, reach 60.77 huge resistance level that's where we placed our target and we see price action begin to break away from 62.14 we got 200 uh, 200 thousand dollar position in place here so that's exciting stuff we got our stopless level at 163 um uh, adjusted slightly um one big change that we decided to, to make today was to close out the position on the australian canadian the aussie canadian even though it's probably going to continue to the to the previous high the fact that it couldn't break 9034 last friday uh gave us that uh cold feet so to speak and especially when, once we, since we have a short position on the euro aussie and those are two those two are inversely correlated clearly we have a higher risk on those two positions so we're dropping this one out around break even right no um, no profit no loss on this one aussie canadian is out dollar canadian starts to turn around and that that starts to look good we decided to double up our position size today right off the bat we just threw in another 50 50k here so right now a hundred thousand dollar position on the dollar canadian as it starts to turn around this is how it looks like from the weekly perspective we pretend we believe that that's potentially going to end up being a turning point on the large scale right still kind of testing the water though same with the euro dollar we feel like this could be the tipping point uh, or just before the weekend we've seen price action starting to turn around we dipped our fingers in the water with 50 and today right off the bat tripling up our position size to 150 uh this is how it looks like from the weaker perspective we think price action could start a downside move back to 10639 so all of this is really exciting stuff another new position new position today aussie japanese yen check this out stop loss is right here have no mistake about it it's 98 yeah um let me just get rid of all the text here it's a little bit distracting but uh the bottom line is uh we've had the breakdown a legit i believe a legit breakdown has been confirmed by the weekly chart as well We're talking about 96.23 take a look price section last week last friday closing below 96.23 on the monthly chart as well we've had last month just a couple of days ago a monthly close below 96.23 i feel like price is on its way to 93.13 the next big support level on the other side of the range so we pulled the trigger right from the get-go 100k and let's see how this is going to go the minute price section sliding below 96.23 we're going to get more aggressive and increase the position size 93.13 that's our target and potentially even 91.75 where the previous low the previous major low was determined back in july so that's our profile in the forex market space i want to show you um our position in the cryptocurrency market as interesting as interesting um long position on the dog coin was supposed to be short term we started this one a few days ago i think like almost a week ago we're still here it was supposed to get to 0 10 30 relatively quicker than it did it then it does i mean it, it's not there yet but it starts to pick up the pace here on the way up uh let's see how quickly we can get there i believe there's gonna be um an obstacle soon at zero zero nine five 
that's going to be the big testing ground for the dog coin where once it passed through we're going to increase the position size probably double it up we're doing phenomenally well with our long position on the file coin we just took a lot of profit off the table we had two hundred dollar two hundred thousand dollar position in place right we took out 50 percent of the position just by the sheer explosion that we've had here over the last 48 hours we took 50 percent return on that trade that we got rid of the first one we got in around 5.4 i believe we got rid of it around eight that's 50 percent return that's unbelievable numbers that we can get only from the cryptocurrency market so that's uh interesting stuff we still have our position uh you know the re the remaining of it the rest of it 50 percent of the position is still open uh, in case gonna price is gonna have a bit of a drop here a bit of a dive as a technical correction it's gonna be easier for us to pick it up as it drops and throw that trade right back in in, in a much more attractive levels right so that's the file coin litecoin is coming up a little bit in the last 48 hours but still kind of lackluster We're, we expect a big breakout soon coming from the litecoin but clearly it's battling some demons that are coming around the areas of 74 you can see 74 is putting up a fight here a lot of resistance but yeah it's going to be interesting to see how the litecoin is going to handle that so these are the three positions we have in the cryptocurrency market the filecoin is really the star of the show